Someone recently had a question, how does consuming sweets and refined carbohydrates actually pull nutrients out of the body? So the first question is, what do nutrients actually do in the body? One of the main functions is that they actually act as a co-helper in metabolism, okay? And I'm talking about the burning of fuel. So what happens when you consume calories without the nutrients, your body then has to pull from its reserves certain nutrients to burn that fuel or make that tissue. So in the example of burning glucose, you need vitamin B1, you need potassium, you need magnesium. So these three nutrients are vitally important in making energy. Also, you need zinc. So anytime you consume sugar, you're pulling these nutrients out and you're depleting your reserves. And this is why sometimes after you consume a high carbohydrate meal, your heartbeat goes up. That's a, that's a potassium deficiency and that is a B1 deficiency. Or for example, you start holding fluid, you get sw like swollen ankles. That is a low potassium, high sodium ratio. So now we have too much salt versus potassium, we just hold fluid. And then of course, the magnesium, you can end up with uh, insomnia, you can end up with anxiety, you can end up with feeling stressed. So after a carbohydrate meal, if you have this anxiety, for example, that could be a combination of low B1, and magnesium. Now, zinc deficiencies are involved in so many things. If this becomes too low, you're gonna find that testosterone goes down, your immune system goes down. You may even lose your taste or your smell with a zinc deficiency. Now, as far as vitamin C goes, the chemical molecule of vitamin C is very, very similar to glucose. And if given the choice, if you had sugar and vitamin C there in your body, your body is going to accept the sugar one instead of the vitamin C. So too much glucose will deplete your vitamin C. So that's one mechanism right here. The second mechanism is when you consume sugar over a period of time or refined carbs, you're raising your glucose, you're raising your insulin, you're eventually gonna develop something called insulin resistance. Now, when you have insulin resistance, you not only have a difficult time absorbing glucose in the cell, you also have a difficult time absorbing other things as well, like amino acids, like vitamins, and like minerals. And this is why people that are pre-diabetic, that are diabetic, usually have a lot of nutritional deficiencies and they have a lot of complications with their nerves, with their eyes, with their kidneys, with their heart, and that has to do with the low amount of nutrients that are able to pull in there. Now, if you were diabetic and you were consuming nutrient-dense foods, you would have a lot less complications. All right, so now you understand why consuming the refined sugars and the grains will deplete your vitamins and other nutrients as well. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.